that because it allows you to catch up with your opponent and uh, nuke them um, and that uh, does help out quite a bit and of course it helps out um, in ganks it helps out when you're going for the runes gives gives you that little edge early on which can really be quite effective so although it's a very um, uncommon item to get um, in the beginning for for very good players uh, it does sometimes work out i've even seen a sank sand king actually go for a boot of speed early on in the lane in order to um, to help him get close to his opponent and get off that stun because of course early on the stun has very short range so it um, can actually be uh, quite effective to boost your speed and um, allowing you to get close to your opponent and hopefully uh, take them down there Ventral Spirit coming in, uh, getting nuked quite a bit by Pugna though, and he's actually being chased now, so let's see how this works out. Still no first blood, Ventral Spirit probably gonna pick up the regen here. Actually Beastmaster in the mix as well, dealing a lot of damage to the Pugna, resumming the pick. Very good call there, preventing Pugna from uh, getting the experience and everything from uh, from killing that one. Experience and gold, of course. Axe is going off, Pugna trying to dodge it. Um, almost works out. I don't know if he got hit by the full effect there. Oh, and uh, Furion teleporting down and he's gonna be able to take out the puck. Very good job by Furion um, good job by uh, by the rest of his team, Antimates and um, Lion, of course, um, setting up for that gank. And top lane, Queen of Pain in a little bit of trouble, but able to blink out of there and heal up now, so it should work out for her. Obviously, Admiral Proudmo also getting quite a bit of experience top lane. Uh, from uh, from vengeful spirit ganking so let's see if you're now teleporting home healing up a little bit and he's gonna be uh, quite strong late game as well if they just leave him to farm uh, all he wants in the first especially with this first blood that he got now uh, Furion is definitely a farm monster once he gets his uh, level 6 ability also helps uh, the rest of the lanes push back the creeps which should be pretty good for a hero like anti-mage um, to prevent the opponents from pushing too early on, pushing too many of the towers should allow him some extra farm time. Obviously, it's not good if Furin's uh, ultimate steals too many of Antimage's creeps, but we'll have to see how that works out. Teleport in from Lion top lane, we could see a little bit of a attempt at a first blood. Now Furin in the mix as well, good job with the um, Sprout here, catching the Ventral Spirit, Stun now going off from the Lion and the Ventral Spirit definitely gonna go down. Queen of Pain forced to fall back though, but still 2-0 in the favor of UBLI here. Doing a very good job early on. Uh, Puck and uh, Earthshaker still trying their best down lane to prevent this anti-mage from farming. He's picked up a poor man shield, as you can see, and uh, Ring of Health. So let's see what he's gonna go for with that. Could be a Vanguard, I suppose. Even a... Um, even a hood of defiance. We'll have to see what he decides to go for. Let's take a quick look here at the CS. Uh, 29 for the Admiral Proudmoore, 20 for the Beastmaster, 15 for the uh, Queen of Pain, and 28 for the um, uh, Mage Bane here. While of course uh, we have 31 for the Pugna, so uh, pretty pretty fair all around. It might be slight a slight advantage to UBLI but um, definitely not uh, not anything uh, too too huge here but of course it's only 7 minutes 30 seconds into the game so a bit too early to um, to say anything too too big from the uh, from the CS I guess Quillbeast here trying to uh, secure Beastmaster some extra last hits and a little bit of a um, fight here top lane line getting really low and going to Go down to that turret, well played by Admiral Proudmoor, uh, unfortunately Proudmoor goes down as well to the Queen of Pain and the Furion, definitely doing a good job with those ganks. Beastmaster and Ventral Spirit now coming top lane, they're gonna find that Furion all alone, ultimate goes off and Furion definitely gonna go down here unfortunately. No uh, mana for Axis on the Beastmaster but it doesn't matter, the pig does its job. The Ventral Spirit does its job and he goes down really fast. Let's see if they can get some damage on the Queen of Pain. He blinks out immediately and the Ventral Spirit isn't able to get in there. Get off a good stun, unfortunately, but um, with no mana on the Beastmaster, it is pretty hard to take out a Queen of Pain in a gank like that, I suppose. Antimate still relatively um, left, left to farm by himself down here. It seems like Tribal is 
keeping up the pressure top lane and that could be a little bit of a mistake for them beastmaster now getting ganked here queen of pain probably gonna get another kill here or is it gonna be fury and blink or teleport from yeah blink of course from the queen of pain and ventral spirit now in huge trouble as well gonna go down nice ultimate there from the queen of pain double kill and the uvl i in a 5-2 score advantage here vulture coming in with some um, items for the queen of pain boots of speed maybe not quite sure about that and it seems like top lane is now going to be pushed uh, against tribal here so let's see what they can do against that Pugna has decided to go down lane along with the anti mage let's see how they can keep up the push here po creeps are being pulled by the uh, puck so this might be an opportunity okay Pugna is coming in to try and uh, prevent this anyway top lane teleports coming in and the queen of pain and fury and Forced to fall back, Vengeful Spirit and Urshiga trying to get some more farm up here. And of course trying to defend this tower as best as they can. So uh, down lane, still being pushed a little bit here by uh, UBLI. Antimates trying to get as many last hits, as much farm as possible here. Uh, almost level 7 at the moment. Puck, nah, is level 8. Al always mix up the names from Puck and Puck, and they sound so uh, identical of course and uh, yeah <laughs> hopefully I won't, I won't do that too much in this game I think I've done a, a, an okay job in that respect so far turned going up from the Admiral Proudmoor and the anti is gonna be trying to chase him down here Nukes going up from the Pugna and taking him down really fast there very well played there with the um, ultimate with the Decryptify of course with the um, Nuke I actually forgot the name of that Nuke uh, I'm sorry about that one, but I uh, bet you know which one I, I mean. The AoE nuke dealing loads of damage. And it's blinking in, trying to take as much mana off the Pug as possible. Pug actually using his um, orb to deal damage to the Antimates instead of escaping. That could have been a little bit fatal, I feel, if Antimates had indeed tried to chase. Oh, and he's going for it now. He's going to go in for the Pug. And unfortunately, he's forced to fall back. He can't really go too close to that tower, of course. Should be denying some creeps here, I suppose, but uh, I guess he isn't too concerned with preventing the puck from getting experience. Uh, the most important thing for an anti mage, of course, is to get experience and gold for yourself here. Lion coming in from behind here a little bit, and it seems like Puck is going to be falling back. I don't know whether he spotted him. Uh, anti mage falling back now as well. Top lane, the Earthshaker coming in with a nice stun on the Queen of Pain. Let's see. Ooh, and Vengeful Spirit in the mix as well. Fury and teleporting in. And uh, of course, the uh, Queen of Pain will probably. Ooh, he's actually staying here. He hasn't blinked yet. Gonna be trying to take. He takes out the Vengeful Spirit. D uh, does do a blink there. Uh, not too effective. Fury and chasing the Earthshaker here. And I think Earthshaker. Ooh, might be able to escape. Yeah. Queen of Pain is in no position to blink in here. And um, both Fury and. and Queen of Pain forced to fall back, actually getting a pretty good fissure right there. Down lane, I think uh, Anti Mage was able to take down the Admiral Proud more yet again here with the help from Lion. So, definitely a good job so far from um, UBLI. Anti Mage back to farming down here. He's picked up that Vanguard already. And I'm actually unsure as to how that stacks with the Poor Man's Shield. I do believe the. Um, the 70% chance from the Vanguard is checked first, and if that chance isn't um, fired off successfully, then you get the 20 uh, re damage reduction from the um, from the poor man's shield. But um, not 100% sure about how that works out. Fury teleporting down here yet again, animating, blinking in, trying to get off as much damage as possible on this Ventral Spirit. I think they may be able to take him down here, although Antimates is taking quite a beating from that tower. Let's see what he can do. Oh, Fury doing a good job at summoning those uh, creeps that Antimates will be able to get out of it before Ventral Spirit can get off another nuke. A triple kill for the Fury. Did he just use his ultimate? I think he just used his ultimate and was able to take down the Beastmaster and the... Um, Puck, puck, the puck somewhere else on the map here. Probably mid lane, um, not quite sure about that. But a tower has gone down, top lane, another tower to go down here, mid lane. So definitely UBLI in a huge, huge advantage now. 11 2 is the score, and the uh, Admiral Proudmore uh, isn't getting too good farm at the moment. He's died three times, up to 46 CS, 43 on the Beastmaster here, 26 on the. Um, 
on the Earthshaker here um, on his way to Dagger. Of course, Torrent now going off on the Antimate, but he will be able to blink out of this one. Of course, shouldn't be a problem for him. Although, both Pugna and Lion coming in from behind, they're going to go for that Admiral Pradmore. As you can see, he's taking loads of damage.